A very warm welcome back, Brother Geese. It's been over a year since I last uploaded anything. I've just been really busy with uni and work, uh, but I won't get into that now. So this video is going to be a follow-up for the Honey Badger or the Ares AM015. There we go. All the upgrades that I've done to it, um, and I will be doing more as we go, so there'll probably be a follow-up to this follow-up video at some point in the near future. So without further ado, I'm just going to run over the upgrades that I've done real quick and then we'll get to shooting it. I disassembled the gun. Once you remove the gun, will come apart into two separate main pieces. Once you have those two parts separate, you can take the entire hop unit and barrel out. So once you've got that out, remove the collar carefully. Two hours later. Then you want to remove the hop unit very carefully, try not to tear the hop rubber that's on there. Then you want to get your new barrel. I'll be replacing the current barrel with a Mad Bull Tight Ball barrel, which is much longer, and a Maple Leaf hop bucket. You want to reattach the hop unit and slide the collar on, and then insert the barrel into the gun. That's mostly the hard part done, so now you just need to reassemble it, knock the pin back in and then we can get to the external upgrades. So to cover that nasty long barrel poking out like a needle, we're going to use a suppressor, and it comes right up to the end of that, which is actually a bit of luck more than anything. Try to pre-measure, uh, because you don't want the needle end sticking out of the suppressor, that would look silly. So I have here a lens protector. And finally, I found this very nice rail-mounted torch. All of the things I've shown will be linked in the description of this video. And just for good measure, I'm going to replace the standard mid-cap magazine with a G&G high-cap. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be uploading much more frequently over the next few months. Got obviously the Christmas break coming up and all that. So that should help a little bit. And the closing end of uni, so I'll be able to get into this a bit more regularly. And just quickly, if I haven't lost you already, obviously the account has been inactive for a long time. Just leave a comment, let me know what you're up to or what you want to see. Um, and that way I know that it's still active subs. All right, thank you very much.